This is the first in a series of video presentations in which I will guide you through the whole Mr. Circuit Basic Electronics Lab Number 1. I'm assuming that you will have the printed page for each lesson or experiment in front of you while you watch each video presentation. This is the video presentation for Lesson 1, Basic Electron Theory. This lesson is probably a review of what you already learned in science, but is where we need to start our entrance into basic electronics. Matter. Everything you see around you is made of matter. The desk, the pen, the paper, water, and even yourself. Matter is something that has mass and takes up space. It can be found in three states, solid, liquid, or gas. At this point, you might ask, what is matter made of? Elements. Matter is made of elements, which are substances found naturally in the universe, such as carbon, oxygen, silver, gold, etc. There are around 104 naturally occurring elements in the universe. Now, the next question is, what are elements made of? Well, each element is made up of atoms. Atoms have a central core called a nucleus filled with positively charged particles known as protons and neutrons that have no charge, positive or negative. Surrounding the nucleus in several different orbits are negatively charged particles called electrons. All atoms are so constructed regardless of whether they constitute an element of hydrogen or gold. The only difference between one atom and another is the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons that each atom has. For example, hydrogen has one proton and one electron and no neutrons, while gold has 79 protons, 79 electrons, and 118 neutrons. Now you can say, okay, I understand everything is made up of atoms and that atoms have protons inside a nucleus with electrons in orbits running around it. But what does this have to do with electronics? The answer to that question is that by definition, electronics is the part of physics that studies the movement of electrons called electron current. Electron current is the movement of millions and millions of electrons through a conductor or a wire. When we connect an incandescent light bulb to a battery, such as shown here, the light bulb turns on because the electrons that circulate through the filament of the bulb cause the metal filament to heat up and emit light. This is the end of Lesson 1. Now that you know that electronics is the part of physics that studies the movement of electrons, and that electric current is the movement of millions and millions of electrons from the negative to the positive, let's learn about electronic components. Get out your printed sheet for lesson number two and watch the next video presentation in this series. Remember that when you complete this lab, you will receive an official certificate of training with your name on it. You can add this certificate to your resume and display it in your room or office. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy learning electronics.